Outside Jennings, and the pass to Callaway. With one on the clock, and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Callaway. Oh, what a gutty play. I mean What's happening? It's time, and I'm hyped for another episode of Me and Junior's My League series. And you know why I'm hyped? Because this is the debut of my main man, Levi Calloway, the franchise player for the Harlem Bruisers. And this is the Bruisers' first game, of course, obviously it's Levi's first game. And Levi is not wasting any time. He scores the first bucket in Bruisers' history, up two to nothing on Junior's team. This is also the debut of Junior's team, the Kansas City Skyscrapers. So the first bucket that they score is gonna be their first bucket as well. And who gets that? None other then Chris Humphreys. Yes, Chris, hum Chris Humphreys. Now, Junior's, the Scrapers, Skyscrapers, uh, their franchise player is EJ Moon. He's a little guy running point guard. But in the meantime, Malcolm Brockton in the corner for the three. Yusuf Nurkic evens the score up at 15 with a little under five minutes left in the first quarter. Manu Ginobili's coming in. We're already down by nine. Ginobili from three. Now, just to let you in on how this is going, I'm playing the full game for my bruisers. This is a this is a simulated week or a simulated game for Junior Skyscrapers. So, yeah, Junior's CPU controlled team right now is beating me by nine. EJ Moon with the pass fake, pull up jump shot, Drano. Look at it. Look at little EJ. Little EJ. Nobody knows what EJ stands for yet. We're gonna have to figure out what that is. I don't know if it's uh, Edwin Joseph or I don't know Ernestine Jonathan. I don't know what it is. Outside the Kelly Olenek from three, good, and oh my, oh my, the skyscrapers are up 13. Down by 12, now here comes the bruisers, and that's the three-pointer by Sean Livingston. Puts it down, cuts the lead to nine. In the, in the second half, it was time for Levi to turn it on. Drives to the basket, scores, it's an 11-point game. Down by 13, Levi says, I got range. Deep three puts it in. It's a 10 point game. It's I'm going to let y'all know right now. You're getting ready to watch the Levi Calloway show. 19 points at that point. Look at Levi from three. Nothing's too far. Nothing's too wide. He has six. He has 26 points. Down by six. Only down by four. He Olenek again from three though. Look at Olenek. Look at this miss rebound. Oh, strip down low. But look at Jeff Green. Uncle Jeff working. Gives him back a six-point lead. Only up by two this time. Look at this pass from Bino Uja. Finds Kelly Olenek. Kelly Olenek was a problem. He was hitting the threes from deep. He was. He was He was doing it. But look at this majestic footwork by Levi Calloway. Stand on the glass. We got two hands. Slam. Levi gives the Bruisers their first lead, 82-81. to 81. Going into this fourth quarter, Levi is, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he's doing it. He's doing it. Look at the pull up three. Oh, green light by Malcolm Brogdon. The Bruisers up by six, 88-82. Game tied again though. The skyscrapers will not give up. And look at Lil EJ. Lil EJ needs to pass it. He gives it up to Chris Humphreys who must've been tied sick or something. Lays it in 94 to 92. But the Bruisers up by one. Look at this. This is some big time heart by Ginobili. Hits the three in transition. It's a four-point game. But look at Levi Calloway going to the line. Fans appreciate it. The first free throw is good. So he gets them both. Callaway sealing the game at the line. Wait until you see his line. The Bruisers win 116 to 108. Had to come from behind. And they rolled the cornrows of Levi Callaway to victory. I mean, the biggest game. I mean, you got an MVP chance. So you already know the numbers are going to be sick. But wait until I show them to you. Just wait. I mean, easily the biggest game that any of the franchise players have had. I mean, look at this. He is the Jordan player of the game. Look at this right here. 
50 piece for Callaway. 50 points, 17 rebounds, three assists. He did it all. Left hand shots off the glass. Three pointers. Look at this block. Get that mess out of my boy. I, I told you. But don't make me say it again. Don't make me say it again. Mama I said I can't have no company. He was a beast. Look at I mean just a left hand finishes, right hand finishes, everything finishes. I mean it look at this 15 and 17. But they gotta get some more balance because you know Lily was second with 16 points. Brogdon had 14. Nobody else was in double figures. Uh, Levi Callaway did not shoot a great percentage from three, but it doesn't matter. He was 16 of 28 from the field, 16 of 17 from the free throw line. Did he have seven turnovers? Hey, he's 19 years old. Back up. Shut up and back up. Okay? Just shut up. He had three blocks as well. Come on. Give, us, give him some love. The third quarter, he just had a complete, he had a conniption in the third quarter. After in the middle of the flow, he just had a straight out conniption. Nobody knew what to do, especially not the skyscrapers. They had, they didn't have an answer. They did not have an answer. Let's look at the skyscrapers. Uh, you know, let's look at their stats. I mean, it was very inconsequential anyway. I mean, they didn't win or anything. So it's, it's kind of what it is. Whatever. Chris Humphreys led them here 20 and 10. That's a bad sign. 18 points for Nurkic, 16 for Green, 16 for Olenek. 12 for Jody Meeks and 10 points, 13 assists, a double double for EJ Moon. That ain't bad. He had five turnovers though. That's good. That's not bad. That's not good. That ain't good. That ain't that good. He did have a dunk too. The little fella can jump. Look at that. The little buddy can jump. He he's a little fella. No, he runs around up under people's uh, arms and right at their waistline and causes problems. But it's 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 okay. Is we handled him. We handled him without too much of a problem. As you can see. I think the amount of free throws that the Bruisers shot was the biggest difference. A lot of the other statistics were pretty even. Uh, they, except for the points off turnovers, Skyscraper scored a lot of points off of Bruisers turnovers. But the Bruisers were able to come through. Oh, rebounding was huge. 55 rebounds, like 29 or 30. That is a smackdown for real on the glass. You cannot get beat on the glass like that in most instances and win a game and you saw that 11 of 12 from the free throw line in the third quarter for the bruises i want to say all 12 of those free throw attempts might have been levi callaways that's just how dominant he was that's how much he just ate eight eight mcs at the free throw line but let's move on to the second game here and it is the seattle prophets in their third game of the season they are at home taking on the New York Knicks. And I guess we just didn't want to give Junior the sticks at all in this particular episode because he's not playing for the Profits here either. This is his sim game for the Profits going against the Knicks. And the Knicks got the early lead. Carmelo Anthony finds Courtney Lee cutting to the basket. Left hand finish the foul by Gerald Green. And yeah, that's going to put them down. But the Profits are back in the lead 22 to 13. But Brandon Jennings is trying to keep his team in the game. He gets the hoop and the harm as well. But still down by 10, the Seattle Prophets are on the break. C.J. Miles looking. He finds Shelvin Mack in the corner, and Shelvin Mack drops it. 35 to 22, Prophets up by 13 points. Up by eight, and Kylo Quinn still trying to keep the Knicks close. Fadeaway jump shot in the face of James Johnson makes it a six point game. But the Prophets would come back even more. Shelvin Mack. A three. Shelvin Mack had a pretty decent little section in this game. 55 to 41. Profits up. Profits up by 13. Shelvin Mack on the drive. The drop off pass there to Tiago Splitter. 15 point lead for the Profits. Profits are looking at a, a two and one start. But Derrick Rose, we got to get a Derrick Rose highlight in there. Drive crossover. Just made Ramon Sessions look silly. But still down by 15. Rose trying to do something else. What else can Rose do? He drops it down to Melo. The Knicks trying not to give up. Fade away jump shot by Melo is in, but they're still down by 12. Profits pulling away still. we with the Knicks on a 10-2 run, but Maurice Spates is determined to put this game away. 89-77 at that point, and that will just about do it. The Profits go to 2-1. They win this one 96-88. Maurice Spates was big again. It seems like as Maurice Spates goes for the Profits, 
so goes the team. The first game of the season, he had 30, and they pulled an upset against the San Antonio Spurs. The second game, I think he fouled out with no points or with two points or something like that, and they lost. Fouled out early in that game, and they lost. Uh, that was, yeah, I mean, it was a, obviously a very tough game. But this game, he has 32 and 10. The Prophets are 2 and 0 when Marie Spate scores 30 or more points. That is the, the formula for victory for Junior and the Prophets. Give it to Maurice and let him go crazy. Look at he's poking away at the ball, blocking shots from behind. He is working. He's so wide and got a good touch around the basket. He's really tough to stop and he has some range on the jump shot. Look at he's hitting the three. He's hitting threes. You. He's hitting threes. He's hitting long jump shots. He's getting bounces. He's doing it all. He led him again, like I said, with 10, with 32 points. Shelvin Mack had 21 points and five assists. Not another player uh, had double figures. So uh, you see the franchise player for the Prophets had a quiet game. Eight points and seven rebounds. Didn't miss a shot, though. It was three for three from the field, two for two from the uh, free throw line. Wasn't getting as nearly as many looks as he got in that first game against the Spurs. So that's that. Carmelo Anthony leads the Knicks with 32. Porzingis with 17, D Rose with 16.6 rebounds, seven assists, and Justin Holiday had 10. D Rose shot a lot and missed even more. Seven for 22, two for 12 from three-point range. All right, uh, Derek, if you ever shoot 12 threes in a game, uh, somebody needs to come out there and just yank you off the court. Are you serious? What in the blue devil was going on with you and your brain? When you said, I think I'm going to shoot 12 threes today. Did you, was that a conscious decision or did it just happen? Don't let it happen again. That was terrible. They gave the, they gave the profits the game with that. That's just sick. It's crazy. The Knicks were seven for 24 from three point range, three point range. And the profits were seven for 16. That's the story of the game. That's the end of the episode. Peace.